Ouch! Looks like we have a situation here. A very sticky situation. You picked up a cute little porcupine up your butt. Get it off! Get it off! Okay, now, calm down. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You might want to cover your ears. What? Hush, boo. Just shake your butt. A little to the right, a little to the left, like this. Dancing? I'm in pain, Elliot. Dancing's not gonna help. The incredible Mr. E knows a thing or two about this sort of thing. Now trust me and shake it, big guy. Oh, my. Now, this is a prickly situation you've gotten yourself into. Quickly now, shake that butt left and right to get rid of the porcupine. This stings. You looking for trouble? What's my middle name? I told you, you look after the kids and I go get grubs. I don't have eyes on the back of my butt. How am I supposed to dig out a hiding place for open season and watch the babies at the same time? Do you mind, city bear? Can't you see I'm losing an argument about who's going to find our babies? Oh, those two are making a stink. I don't think we want to get involved in this. But the only way out of here is past those skunks. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we, um... Go find the missing kids. Maybe we can use them to lure the parents away. And then we can get through. Right. I was gonna say, let's build a rocket ship and fly over them. But your plan's better. Yeah, let's go find their kids. Ooh, if you want to run faster, you need to hold that control down while you're moving. Big buddy boat bear. Boogie boo. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Boog, boog, boog. Super! No pain, no gain. Oh, Senor Oso, thank you so much for finding our babies. You are not so bad after all. Why is she still fuming? You want to know why I am fuming? We're out of grubs. That's why it's my stupid husband. Listen up. The mission is clear. Why you got to always involve me? 
senior and senior Rita Skunk, you sit tight and keep your troops from going AWOL. Boog and I will go scrub for grubs, ASAP, return PDQ, then uh, our SVP with X, Y, Z. Uh, where was I? That deer is loco. Why you gotta be friends with crazy people? I give me a break. Don't worry. We'll find you some grubs. You sit tight. Just use your nose and smell the area, then look around to see what you've discovered. Go over to it and grab it. To smell, follow the instructions on the screen. Grubs are nasty. Excuse me. Y'all want some grubs? Milagro! This kind bearers brought us food to eat during open season. Oh, thank you for getting my wife to stop complaining for ten seconds. What was I thinking? I should have married a bear. <laughs> You're treading in the wrong turf, bear. What, Ma? No! That's gonna leave a mark. Who's that? Only the most beautiful doe in the whole world. Giselle. So? Go talk to her. Talk? To her? What, are you scared? Scared? No! I'm petrified! Oh, no, little buddy. It's easy. Listen, here's what you gotta do. First, look around and find your lady some flowers. Trust me, she's gonna love it. Then tonight, after a little slow dancing and a bit of sweet talk, she'll take your flowers Tell you to get a bigger rack and then dump you. She'll... She'll take my flowers? Are you sure? Come on, fool. Let's get the lady some flowers. <laughs> Bear, watch 
Oh, we got a problem. Giselle only likes purple-smelling flowers. So? So? The only flowers around these woods are red, blue, and yellow smelly. Don't worry, buddy. We can make purple-smelling bouquets by combining the red and blue ones in the right way. Really? Of course. Beth taught me. Just relax and let the books to do his thing. Books, stop! See the human? Humans are bad. Bad in a way that makes bad bad. I mean, you get me? They, they hit us on the head, and they shoot us, and they ride us over, and then they cut off our antlers. How I long for liberty. Hey, Boog, at what point does walking become hiking? Oh, we got a problem. Giselle only likes purple-smelling flowers. So? So? The only flowers around these woods are red, blue, and yellow-smelly. Don't worry, buddy. We can make purple-smelling bouquets by combining the red and blue ones in the right way. Really? Of course. Beth taught me. Just relax and let the books to do his thing. Hey, check it out. These flowers smell purple now. She'll be so surprised. All right then, Casanova. Go work your magic. Giselle? Uh... Here! You brought me flowers? Oh, what a tasty smelling bouquet. My favorites. When Elliot said you liked the flowers... <laughs> Thanks, Elliot. They're delicious. So, you're here for the big race, huh? Well, you better watch out. Ian is racing this time, and you know he has it out for you. The big race? <laughs> yeah! It's like the Dear Games! Except there's only one event. See you in a few. <laughs> 